In this tutorial, I will show you how to get GPU acceleration on a Windows PC in just one step. GPU acceleration will use your graphics card to process instead of your CPU. For this, you need a capable graphics card like the one that I bought a couple of weeks ago. The GeForce RTX 3060. So this will take you a couple of minutes and you'll be able to process your astrophotography images in PixInsight 10 to 20 times faster. I'll share also the article from the RC Astro website where you can find more information about GPU acceleration for AI power tools. If you have a Windows PC, it's best to follow the instructions in my tutorial and just install the drivers automatically using PixInsight and I'll show you in a few moments how to do it fast and it worked for me without any issues. However, if you'll try to do this manually, it will be much more difficult. You'll have to pay a lot of attention here on all these steps. If you miss one operation, you won't do it correctly. It will not work. So let me show you how to do this fast without losing a couple of hours by reading again the article. And here I miss this, the first lines. There is now an experimental PixInsight repository to enable GPU acceleration on Windows computers in one step. And on this link, it will show you all the steps. You can also read it from RC Astro website. And I'll show you first how to do this now on a Windows PC. First, you need to open PixInsight. After you are in PixInsight, you'll go Resources, Updates, and click on Manage Repositories. After this, you need to add this link here, add, and place it here. I will also share the link in the description. After that, you can press OK. After you've done that, you'll update PixInsight. So you'll go Resources, Updates, and check for updates. And after you will close PixInsight and open it again. And PixInsight will install all the drivers necessary for the GPU acceleration for you. And I said, can be that easy? And it was. It took me just a couple of minutes and I was able to process 10 to 20 times faster. Let's see now how fast Blur Exterminator will process this image with the GPU acceleration. And for this reason, we have here open also the task manager with Ctrl Alt Delete. You select it and go at performance. At video encode, on the right, you click on it and select CUDA. It's already selected. You see, it's already working 20 to 30%. And now let's apply uh, the Blur Exterminator. Let's apply it and grab it here. And let's see look how fast so on this image it took me on image like this one it usually uh, takes me six minutes to process it a 26 megapixels high resolution image that i took with the tuptec astro 26000 kma is a monochrome camera with 26 megapixels that provides these large resolution images it took only 25 seconds when we're using a same resolution color image, it takes about 30 seconds instead of 6 to 7 minutes. Now let's take a look before the GPU acceleration. And here we can see Blur Exterminator took 7 minutes to process this image. Let's use now the Blur Exterminator. So 7 minutes without GPU acceleration. And now let's drop Blur Exterminator with GPU acceleration. And let's see how fast it will work. Here, CUDA, it will get up to 90%. It should show us here. Look, 90% and almost done. 34 seconds versus 7 minutes it is 420 seconds. And yeah, this is about 12 times faster. But let's not forget, I have also now, I'm also recording and I have more apps running in the background. 25 seconds 
instead of 360 seconds so i would say up to 15 times faster this was like 12 times faster this will depend on the image depending on your graphics card you you might get even faster so that's why i say you can get up to 20 times faster results here in Pix Inside. Now let's do first also the others. Let's see Noisy Terminator and it will take us less than one minute to fully use the RC Astro plugins. So it will take us uh, under one minute to use the RC Astro scripts. Okay, done in eight seconds and RC Astro Stalix Terminator. This will be closer to Blade Exterminator, so I believe around 30 seconds. So yeah, we have here a color image made from three high resolution images with the mono camera. With smaller images from a smaller camera sensor, you might process one image in 10 to 15 seconds or 10 to 20 seconds. Look, it's already done in 29 seconds. What I can say is just amazing how fast you can process the images and now let's do the same also here on the on this image we'll use also again noise exterminator let's see a couple of seconds look how fast let's use the star exterminator also and this will take about 20 seconds i believe And it is almost done. Okay, finished. And look what good quality we have here, right? Look at this. Amazing, right? And it took 24 seconds. I hope this tutorial will help you install GPU acceleration fast on your Windows PC and avoid all the time lost by trying to install it manually and all the stress and the hassle by trying to do everything yourself. Using this method, you'll be able to update with PixInsight and all the drivers will be installed automatically. Just go and copy the link from the description, place it here in resources, manage repositories, then update PixInsight and you are done. You'll be able to get 10 to 20 times faster processing in PixInsight using the RC Astro plugins. Don't forget to check also my other videos and the channel membership because I'm sharing there my astrophotography data and I hope I'll see you also in the next video.